Hello everybody and welcome back to Matt and John Make a Podcast. This is episode 11 and I know we say we want to talk about different stuff besides no, sports. No, forget today. that. This is strictly a pro wrestling podcast. Oh, Kane Velasquez just debuted on SmackDown. Holy, uh, holy hell. Okay, uh, <laughs> pop in the microphone. We have Woo! a lot to talk about. If you couldn't guess, John's excited. Kane Velasquez, form, former UFC champion, uh, is on uh, is in WWE. Um, but at first, we have a lot to talk about. We're going to cover the season premieres of Monday Night Raw on the USA and the premiere of SmackDown on Fox and the Wednesday night rivalry between NXT and the new promotion. A little uh, little pissant company called AEW. Some, by, uh, that is a pretty good t-shirt company, Matt. It is Very. a pretty good t-shirt company. But first, we are recording at 10.15 on a Friday night. Mm-hmm. And we just watched Friday Night SmackDown. And boy... Did they go off the air with a segment that everybody's going to be talking about? If you couldn't guess it from the first 10 seconds of the show, mm-hmm. Kane Velasquez is I'll, officially with WWE. I'll say this. Be, before SmackDown even came on, onto, onto the air tonight, um, after what amazing fun that I had um, from... From watching both AEW and NXT on Wednesday night, I was so pumped to get on here and talk so much wrestling here because I had so much fun. But man, um, man, like I did not expect Kane freaking Velasquez, former UFC heavyweight champion, the, the man who defeated Brock Lesnar for for that title, is now signing with the WWE. Um, I, I, I mean he. He did say um, on Ariel Hawani's podcast, I believe it, it was a week or so ago, that he was in talks with both WWE and all Elite Wrestling. But I didn't actually think that they were going to go go through with this. But you, I mean, like this is definitely something that I think with like Fox just has to love because especially with all of the years that that the UFC was over on Fox. So this is just, this is going to be very interesting because this is probably one of the few times where like, where like we could see Brock Lesnar as an underdog. Right. And it's like, um, it's like what Corey and Cole were saying. We're, we're like, you know, Brock looked like that. He had like fear in his eyes. He, he looked like a guy who was just reliving his nightmares from that peak down that that yeah. he took from Kane because if you saw that fight um with with Brock versus Kane like Kane just just ran right through him like like yeah Brock had a, a few good moments but man Kane just really beat him down badly so wow um yeah. man on a shock scale from one to ten how was um, tell us your initial reaction when um, when this when, all went down. When you uh, uh, the, the set up the the moment here, uh, Kofi faced Brock Lesnar in uh, in match main event of SmackDown, which lasted pretty much ten seconds. One F five, Kofi lost, and we're all we're all uh, you were laughing like, huh? Then we re- realized there's five minutes left. Oh yeah, they're going to do something. And there are a lot of pissed off pro pro wrestling fans right now that they that they did that they did Kofi dirty like that, which I can understand. Right. But, at but the now, same, but at the same time too, I'm like, okay, I it's really hard going to be really hard to buy Kofi being in a competitive match. Uh, uh. Against Brock, but but then at the same time, now that they're setting up Velasquez, yeah, you got to make Brock look like a, a exactly, and that's why I think that this was the right call, just because they were going business, in this, going in this direction. But also, if, if they ended it with with that, with Brock destroying him, could you be mad all day? Could you be upset? Absolutely, all day. But so, like I was saying, squash match, ten seconds, one f five. Uh, Brock wins, and we're thinking, okay, there's five minutes. 
everybody was expecting Rey Mysterio to come out. That right. was a given. Music hits, he walks out, and it was a far away shot enough that you really, I couldn't tell right away it was Kane. And you know, it's Kane. I'm like, why, why is the mayor of uh, uh, Knoxville County or whatever coming out? That makes no sense. I was like, no. And then when he zoomed in, I was like, that's my thought. I thought, and I, they zoomed in, it was Kane. I was like, holy crap. It's Kane Velasquez. He actually is a sign. Holy crap. Yeah. So that was a good way to, sh- uh, to, to end. Guess what? We're talking about it. We're coming on. We could have came out here, talked a little bit about uh, SmackDown, but when o- John would have went Google Gaga over AEW. Yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, <laughs> that's a back taking a back seat now too because yeah, we it just yeah. happened. Yeah, um, but uh, and speaking of the of the whole show in general, um, I would say that, and I don't agree with some people who are saying that it, that it was a shit show. No, um, no, I don't um, understand. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I don't. I, 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 yeah. I, I can. I, I, I'm one to not be negative on here. Or about anything in in general, I try not to. But how can you sit back and say it was a terrible show? Yeah, like, before Velasquez came out. Yeah, um, I can't say that. Even if Kane didn't come out, I would say it was more of an was above. Average, I say it was above average show. Um, I wouldn't say above average. I would say it, it was about right. Where I mean, outside of like rock and i really loved i'm taking it as a total yeah I, I really loved that segment with um with tyson fury and and also Strowman because tease. because to me Ty, tyson fury has so much personality has so much charisma like it, it, this could be this could be really 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 fun here and 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 if you if nobody knows who braun Strowman is you look at that size of that man. Right, right. You, that's believable. Well, and, and, and too, like he would be facing a guy in Tyson in Tyson Fury who is just on his like um as far from a, from a, from a, a like hype a a hype perspective because because Tyson he is I believe he is like walking a, a good six seven. So he looks like a tall boy. Yeah, yeah. He's a very tall and he's it's, a very lengthy boy. So uh, it it is. I don't want to say equivalent, but it's one of those uh, Floyd Mayweather Big Show thing. It's those you want to see what's going to happen. It's box. It's box office. Mm-hmm. Whether it happens soon or at Mania, mm-hmm. um, people want to see it. Yep. It's it's business. It's smart business. You're getting him. People are going to buy. They're probably going to pay him a crap ton of money. Oh yeah, to appear. Braun gets exposure. They can build it up very well. Mm-hmm. Smart. Why wouldn't you do it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, it to, gets people talking. Yeah, and to um, with like with a like Fox, they want more of a sport oriented of a sport oriented product. So adding a tight a Tyson Fury, I mean, it makes a ton of sense here. But um, but um, I I, I also want to like backtrack a little bit to the opening segment. Um. I gotta say, Rock is still the man. Um, no pun intended to to Becky Lynch, but 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 like I really liked him. Rock and, and and like Becky here, like they played off of of uh, of each other really well here. Becky got a good rub. She, she did. Um, Corbin, I <laughs> seen him get buried. Just oh, it gives me just oh so much joy. Um, calm down over there. Oh God, I I I, I hate Corbin so much. <laughs> but um, I, I didn't know that. Um, I did, I, I, it, I, if you could if you couldn't tell from my from my from my Twitter page, um, or or, or me talking here, um, Baron Corbin sucks. Um, so uh. Yeah, um, it was a really entertaining segment. <laughs> I so, I mean, I'm not sure if WWE will 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 be doing any Burger King ads anytime <laughs> soon. But uh, <laughs> but uh, what what was uh what did uh, the Rock call Baron Corbin? Oh uh, God, I, I'll have to pull uh, a uh, yeah. knockoff Burger King on crack, something uh, like that. Yeah, I can't believe I'll, I forgot I'll pull, that. I'll pull it up here. Give me a second. Well, anywho. As you pull it up, let me give my opinions on that. Good segment. Rock segments are all always fun. 
Um, very entertaining. Becky got the rub. Um, Baron Corbin was probably uh, like a broke little... ass Burger King on crack. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, and he's a uh, he's a he's a he's an STD too. Um, uh, uh, Baron Corbin, I think, uh, Jimmy, former referee, uh, uh Jimmy Cornera said, uh, he must be, uh, uh, probably like smiling on the inside going crazy. Cause yeah, he lo- got beat up by the rock and Becky Lynch, but that segment to be on there and being with the rock, oh, probably yeah. like a little kid. Oh yeah. And, it's all about and, entertainment. And definitely, and, and definitely for or Corbin, he has to say, "Man, I'm getting, I'm getting roasted by the being the rock. Yeah, how, by, how, by the great one. If you're a hill, why? How wouldn't you want to be in that exactly. segment? Exactly. Look, like in any sort of role whatsoever, you're in the ring with the most electrifying man in sports a- entertainment, an entire entertainment. And it, exactly, it's Get just it right. It's just um that was just a really a really fun segment. Um, I enjoyed so really no problems there. Um. Uh, other things that happen on this show. Oh, um, before we even get into that, the stage kicks, smacked, kicks kick, Raw's ass. By oh my god, did like that thing looks so big league, looks so major league uh, or big league major league. I look like a mania uh, state it, almost it, in it, a way. That was that, that was the 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 very first words that I said about that. Yeah, I, I was yep, like, yep, it's not to take your line. No, uh, but like. Just with the production, and the pyro, and the smoke, and everything, it just it just looked like a million, uh, a multi million dollars. Like it just it made it made SmackDown look like the clear yeah, number sure. one brand in the company right now. Yep, and it's um, not e- even close. And now, um, I mean, I mean, uh, it's it's just wow. Um, but um. Anyways, getting on to through the rest of the show. Um, we had the the uh, Becky Lynch, and, Becky Lynch and, and Charlotte, Charlotte versus uh, Sasha Banks and, uh, and Bailey. Bailey. Oh my God! Yeah. Um, it was an okay match. Good, um, yeah, it was a good match. Um, I'm I'm not a big fan in Bailey getting pinned again. So, no, 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 no. It was submitted or, or F- th- figure eight. That's right. She got submitted. It's even worse. <laughs> so I'm just like I really hate when champions are getting pinned like that. That like, like it, it, it just it was a uh, no win situation no matter right. what because and Sasha's that's, and, and that's why I I wasn't a big fan of them of him doing this match because outside of ending this in a DQ like like there was a a like no win situation. So to me this this match really. Did not need to actually happen, and and now um, I would have been okay with a D, uh, an all-out brawl, brawl with a, 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 no contest. Yeah, that's probably what it should have. Yeah, happened. which which I would have been perfectly fine with. But now you made your, t- but now you made your SmackDown Women's Champion t- tap out again. So it just, man, like, can they possibly make Bailey look any worse here? And you wonder why so many people. People um, view her as the as the as the ugly um stepchild. Yeah, as the ugly stepchild out it's of the four. Um, yeah, outside of the four outside of the four horse women here. So my the, the I think the rain wasn't as 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 good. Um, no, it's well, and on top of that, it, and it, it's like it's like what you and me have talked about is when she turned heel. She really wasn't anything different. Just she was a little bit, a bit more aggressive in delusional. Has the same entrance, same, same theme, etc. So, yeah. But um, so there was that. Um, we also had um, Sh- Shane, Shane McMahon is now fire. Yeah, fire. Um, yeah. This but was not like that. Yeah, this was not surprising at all. Um, especially being on Fox, um, you knew having Shane wasn't going to probably be in their future plans. Um, I'm um, going forward, um, and I wonder now where this leads. Um, for Owens, honestly, I think he should be better off on like Monday Night Raw. Um, just because I, 
don't know where he would exactly go on SmackDown, but it would just kind of depend where I, where all of the cards fall I, with the and, and with, that with is the draft. and that is the big thing that I want to add to this show is that since there's the draft next week, you really couldn't set anything no. in motion. And that was kind of the thing that kind of bothered me too about the show was like we really don't know outside uh, of like Kane versus Brock, we really don't know what's going on past this show, and, and especially too for Hell in for Hell in a Cell, there's o- only three advertised matches right now. So, I mean, like there's just a whole bunch of stuff that like either. Like we just don't know what's going on, and to with that, with the draft coming up, just like a, a whole bunch of stuff that like we can't really get excited for, just because there is nothing but I, that there is and, nothing planned right now. Right, but I, I think we we need to. I always say this, but I think we need to judge the show once everything is settled and the rosters and set. Because obviously the first the first show this show you have mm-hmm. just a bunch of craziness with The Rock and uh, uh, Braun Snowman and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, crap what's his name I, uh, I drew and, a blank and Tyson Fury Tyson Fury holy crap mm-hmm. I I was gonna say totally something wrong I just blanked um oh 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 he, and here's a question how do you think that those how those Fox execs reacted when they saw when they saw the the like Firefly Funhouse and then the fiend came out. They must like him because I saw a video um, that I think somebody was watching. I believe it was Fox and Friends in the morning one day a couple days ago. Excuse me, and there was a commercial break. Somebody was videotaping it, probably on. We playing on DVR, and right before they went back to Fox and Friends, there was a quick image of Bray Wyatt, and I'm like, "Oh, that's genius! Mm-hmm. They must, they must like him." Um, uh, it's people need to understand that it's a de- a demented, like kids show host, a fiend's playing. It's just sadistic. Yes. You may, can't, may you may look at it and be oh that's corny, but there's an evil side. It's supposed to be sick and twisted. That's the point. It's like a a demented Mister Rogers, or Jeff from Blues Clues. Yeah. That's the point. But right. people people like it. That's the one thing I look forward to every Monday. I just need to like show you the, that meme there that 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 that, that oh, plagiarism. Report. Report. <laughs> Kane, Kane on SmackDown. K the big red machine. It has the picture of uh, Squidward. Squidward eyes closed, and then Kane C A I N Velasco on SmackDown eyes open. Uh, yeah. I probably need to f- find that. That uh, was Matt. <laughs> that was Matt. Essentially, when in the final segment, it was like, oh. oh. Nothing. Oh, it just came. It's like, like, oh, it was, it was like, <laughs> and I was like, why? Is, it makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, Vasquez. Oh, and spe- Velasquez, not Vasquez. And we don't want to say Vasquez. And speaking of Kane, um, according to ESPN's, according to ESPN's Mark Mark Ramundi, who's a who is a MMA um P writer and and also does um and also does some. Um, some coverage with prof- with professional wrestling. He's saying that that as of currently Kane, he's not officially signed with WWE, but it's how can he not? Yeah, now. Well, how, yeah, but like he said, you like, don't do that. Yeah, but he he's saying talks are so advanced that like that that for WWE they I, they I, feel I, confident I think, en- enough that they will. Um, I I I, get, I get think this. you have to. Mm-hmm. It's probably one of those situations. It's probably all official besides yeah. sing, signing on the dotted line. Yeah, and because I just, they wouldn't do that if they weren't confident. And I definitely they're think they're not stupid. Yeah, and I definitely think too. Um, for Kane's um perspective, I would be shocked if he ever goes back into fighting. Like, can you just imagine the type of, of freaking money that he is going to be making with this company? I mean, 
I mean, just from like the Saudi money, the the Fox money, like that man is probably getting easily seven figures. You would think. I, I, I mean, especially like he wasn't e- even making, I believe, a quarter of a like million dollars in in his UFC fights. Like I believe that in his last fight against against Francis, he was not making like I think he was barely making six figures. So. I mean, damn, um, like, but just congratulations to him, man, like, it's just, wow, um, but, uh, we're getting a little bit sidetracked, but, uh, that's fine, podcast, uh, talk about whatever we want, exactly, man, um, other stuff, um, we talked about Shane getting getting fired, talked uh, about The Rock, um, also, um, Roman beat, um, Roman beat Eric, Eric, Eric Rowan in a Lumberjack match, I um, I like was was a stipulation really necessary here, Matt? Um, I honestly didn't think I I, I didn't think I, that besides they, besides make it. I you know why I think they did. And again, I'm still on other ideas from people's like people's ideas on Twitter, but it makes sense that they uh wanted to put everybody appear on the show, um, instead of just making it another DQ match. I mean, like, I think that they could have just like done that, and it would have been fine. But yeah, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't th- really think that 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 was really necessary. But I think it was just to get every throw everybody a bone right, that's not right, on yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah, that was It'd be like here's a t- here's the roster. Right, right. Um, so yeah, um, so so Roman beats beats a Roan, <laughs> and um, now. I believe they the are tag ha- match. yeah they are having a Sunday. tag match um a Sunday in hell, in, in, hell in a cell. I'm very interested to see how this goes. Like um, like I've been predicting for the last few weeks that possibly Brian could possibly turn heel, I again, and that would kind of set up Roman versus versus Dan versus Dan versus Daniel Bryan, which I feel has more interest to me and, and has way more story just because of all of of the history you know with 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 the both of these guys here um so um yeah i'm very uh i'm very interested to see um you know how this um is going to go on sunday but that was essentially smackdown obviously the big the the big big news is kane, is kane velasquez de- yeah. debuting okay. so. i thought before we move on because i think we can move on uh-huh. yep I, I i i thought the season premiere the raw was okay better but smackdown <laughs> it just felt different well, i know it was different because well, you had all the star power Def, but well, definitely from but fr- SmackDown blew Raw out of the freaking water. Well, yeah, I mean just fr- just from the production and the star power, it didn't feel WWE at all. No, it felt way more big league. But I I, I, I will say though, I do worry about this product um, as we go on, where there is like no where there are no part timers every single week. Like I wonder how those ratings are going to turn out on a weekly basis. Um, I do think though that having Kane and and, and Brock here definitely helps. It, it like it definitely has my interest, but I'm you know I'm just I am a, a a little bit concerned at like how these ratings are going to go and um you you know. And you know Fox is paying to be to be a lot of money. I I a think a lot of gonna, money. I think they're going to be respectable for Fox. Well, well, into with like Fox outside of like football, and from like just a like weekly content, they don't have any other shows that are going to draw anywhere near. And that's what Fox needs. And, and, and that's exactly and that's exactly what you, Fox. Look wants. at USA. Yep, I know. Hell, like even with NXT, like that is like. Easily, their 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 second most most viewed show. I, I mean, like, yeah, the WWE's ratings are are, are at a are at an all time low, but they are still higher than than a can, lot of than a can, lot of look other at things. Yeah, look at the rest of TV. Well, well and, with and, and two, there is a set 
audience with the WWE. Like there are going to be those like those like a million and a and a half on viewers who are going to watch every single week. The issue is going to be can they can like um, new viewers in which um and, and and we're going to be bringing this up with all elite wrestling, but that's also I think that 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 that's a valid question to be asked for for SmackDown here as well. Oh, so okay, Matt. Okay. Um, what did you want to to move on to here? Well, I think you mentioned AEW. Mm-hmm. We got the the start this past Wednesday of the uh, dubbed Wednesday Night. War with the premiere of AEW Dynamite on TNT. That's weird saying wrestling on TNT right. again. Since for in, first time in with 18 Tony years. Schiavone on commentary, by the way, with Jr. and Jr. and Excalibur X, and up against uh, WWE NXT on the USA Network. Um, let's just go straight into AEW Dynamite. Oh, what a fun show! Like just w- good thing we're not on a camera. Or we'd be uh, uh, off the air. Yeah, <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just um, I just I had so much fun on like Wednesday night. Like this gave me excitement that I really haven't felt. Like just from like you know, it, it did bring me some sense of like of like nostalgia just because because as a kid as a as eight as eight year old john i i was i was i was watching both both wcw and the wwf flipping back and forth as fast as i could save the pandas exactly um it it just it did bring me some sense of, of, of that um just with AEW, the number one thing that, that was completely glaring to me was the production and the optics. Like seeing them in, in, in a mostly sold out um, Capital One Arena in Washington D.C. Did it officially sell out? It it like officially sold out, even though th- there were like some empty seats because because of like scalpers and like stuff like that. Yeah, um, it was um, one time as a shot of yeah, the ring, uh, the but, floor. I was like, oh, yeah, but the, I believe they they sold fourteen thousand tickets. Which you you just look at that and compare to NXT, who are just wrestling in front of four hundred people, and not to mention too with N- NXT like that when they show when they show that. At crowd there, it it it's like really dark, whereas on Dynamite it was completely lit up. And how many times did you see <laughs> AEW constantly doing a, a like a like widespread view <laughs> of the whole entire arena? Do you think that that was them kind of like, kind of up sticking it to to um, WWE? I don't, I don't know if they're sticking it to WWE, but I, I think it'd be more like luck. Look, we are. For real, can I? I, I want to say something. Say, say something, okay? Um, the show itself, it's a whole. I don't think, and before you jumped out my throat, I don't think it was mind blowing, but it was damn good. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with it. I first I, show. I am. I it's better am, than being in the mall. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I am. By, I I am by no means saying that that this was a, a perfect show. It was not a perfect show, but hell of a start. But it was a hell of, of, of a start, and just I was excited. Like I'm 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 excited for for these for these um future storylines with Kenny and and like John Moxley. Like that to me has just with the promos and the build up a, a, alone with those two. Are going to be very interesting. It's going to be very um, intense. Is definitely a word that I would um, throw in there. Like just that DDT that Kenny took on, on that on that on that glass table. Like oh, that, that didn't look that much of a VIP area. Yeah, yeah, a um, random like, VIP yeah, area. Like that was that that was really cool. Um, but yeah, that was a good spot. But man, in um, seriousness. Another thing that really stood out, man, is Cody Rhodes is a freaking star. Like, just that entrance and the reaction that he got from that crowd, like, 
it was he was treated like a superstar, man. And I mean, like, and he had a really good match with Sammy Guevara. Um, that was a really fun match. They Cody just every single match that this man has just tells a really good, really good story. Whether it's like him versus his versus his brother, um, Huston Rhodes. Whether it's him versus Dar versus. Harvey Allen, or whether it's like him versus Sean Spears, they are all well-told stories that you are completely invested in. And this is like, to me, where where like you really see just how good that Cody is and how polished of of a performer that Cody is. It, 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 it's just like, he... He like he knows when to slow down. He knows when to when to speed up. But but like but like most importantly, he lets um he just he, it, it's like I said he just keeps you um completely invested in a match and 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 that and that was no different. Here. I mean hell when um when he did a suicide dive and Sammy threw through through. Randy, um, in front of him, like that got a lot of heat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 um, Sammy, he was getting asshole chance. Um, so I mean, that it was just a really, a really fun match. Um, Cody, um, he wins with the with a with a with a roll up. Um, so yeah, really fun match, Matt. What did you think? Of, yeah, it of that was match? it was a good uh opening match. I think we saw the match open up. Um, I was uh going back and forth between watching that match and watching NXT on uh, uh my laptop with uh Riddle Matt Riddle versus Adam Cole for the NXT Championship, uh, which I I guess we could talk about it now and go back and forth that yeah, yeah. I believe Cole and Riddle. Um, Absolutely, was a better match. They tore the house yep. down, or like you want to call it, the garage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was. I'm, 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 I mean, not to be like not to be um, rude or anything, but that is essentially what the optics looked looked like when you were looking at at AEW and when you were l- looking at NXT. It just and, and like I think I think the fact. That like that was shown so often. You got you just gotta wonder how long will it take um, for um, until NXT just goes. I think on, it's eventually on the road full time. I I think it's only a matter of time. I, so it's um, gonna happen. It but to. both matches were good. Again, I liked the Riddle um, Cole match. That grabbed my attention. Mm-hmm. Um, but solid sh- solid solid start to both shows. Yeah, um so other things that happened on Dynamite. Um all right, let's let me bring up this here. Wait, the MG MJF promo. Oh my god. That man <laughs> I, think, I think that was next in the show. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. next. Whole oh, I mean like I'm such a huge MJF mark. Like that man just knows how to get heat, knows how to piss people off. Just like just his larger than life personality, his charisma, just the energy that he brings into like it was just it was just a really fun a fun little little promo there. Um he beat up Brandon to color who my god that man looked he was either either real really nervous or like he's really that bad. Looks like a, a diet just incredible. Uh, it, it, exactly and like he botched at least two really easy moves that to me i i don't think that that should be botched um thankfully it was a pretty short match um, i believe actually that mjf won in like three minutes or, or, or so it was quick yeah so um which i was happy about mjf was put put over really strong here um i definitely feel he's definitely one of the guys that that needs to be protected um, because because he is o- only I believe twenty three years old. I mean, like he's got just got massive star potential written all over him, and especially being on TNT, 
Like uh, the sky is definitely the the limit for for Maxwell Jacob Friedman, and he is better than you. Probably that's yes. not that's true. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we had that. Um. We then had the the an inaugural um AEW women's title match between Nyla Rose versus Riho. I'll be the first to say um, I did not really care about this match. I wasn't in it because at the same time, yeah. we had yeah. the NXT Women's yeah. Championship between Shayna Baszler yeah. and, and Candice LeRae. And, and to me, Shayna and, um, and and Candice was clearly better. Um, I just, I, I just, first of all, I did not really understand um, why they would have um, Nyla lose here because she's clearly probably probably their top probably their top w- w- women heel right now so you would think that they w- would w- would want to put her over strong because no of uh, no um no disrespect to to isn't she transgender like, re- anyways yeah mm-hmm. yeah or it's a good pr plan well well um now it is um yeah yeah, 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 yeah i'm yeah, sorry yeah 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 i'm um, she is but like it just it just this did not make a ton of sense. She to me. looks more believable to beat up. Exactly. Um, Eho, was it Eho? Riho. Riho. Whatever. Something ho. Um, and uh, Riho is is skinny and compared to, to and, Naira Rose, who and just to, is, like you compare is, like looks like a a scary yeah beast and like. You you compare like you compare like Riho to a like Io Shirai, who who is like skinny but man she, she look she looks like a Carrie Sane a, AEW's Carrie Sane in looks yeah, and appearance she, that's probably who I would compare her to but to me Kyrie is probably better to be perfectly honest right I, but look but, wise yeah yeah um, like look wise um I just I really feel that if if you weren't going to put the title on like now, nah, I really think that you sh- should not have put her in this title match here because, because t- to me, you need to build up heels. Didn't she win the that battle royal? Yep. She, no. She sure did. Yeah. Um. I'm, 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 I'm like a Nyla did. Yeah. 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 So then, what the? See exactly. To me, that's a that's a good opportunity opportunity yep. to get a, a build a baby face up to beat her. To make a to, you get yeah. that hill and then you get that baby build a baby face to beat her and you get a, a star because I'm sorry and I think you agree and I think you said it that their women division right now is it's, not strong. It's Compa- not. It's not compared good. to NXT. NXT compared to WWE. NXT and WWE blow them out of the freaking water. Like NXT alone has Pick five and five. Whatever you think is the top five. Here are just even some, on the main roster. Here are just some of the NXT women that they have: Shayna Baszler, uh, um, Candice, Candice, Candice Le- LeRae, Io Shirai, Shirai, Mia Yim. I'm. I haven't even talked about 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 say like um, I'm like Chelsea Green, uh, and, and some of the of the other women who they haven't even used yet. Like. They have so much depth and and, get a, and talent. Get in the main roster: Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Ember Moon, Ember Moon. Hell, screw it, Natalia. Yep. Um, Bailey, Alexa Bliss. There's people know people know those people. Mm-hmm. Not saying that that division can't be good. No, but I, I, you need I, to build them up. I, yeah, like to me, they, maybe well, maybe it's a little rap hard now, but no, I it's think just I mean, like to me, they they really drop the ball here, and to me, as and, and like to I'm not a very big Nyla fan, but she needed to win here, and yep. to me, that just didn't that just did did not make it and, a lot of and sense I, to me, and I didn't get why. I guess the first half of that match, I would I would say that she was going to use a chair on on uh, Riho, and I know we talked about that. Apparently, uh, DQs and stuff are at the ref's discretion now. Yeah, yeah. Which I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah like, And we'll get to that at the main event. Yeah. But if, but I feel like if you use a still chair in the regular match, you could have to. Yeah, disqualify. Yeah. 
Like, I, the only way I can, I can justify to myself that that makes sense if you're fighting and finding a long match and then you get frustrated, right? And you're like, oh, I, I, your emotions get the best of you and you're going to grab the steel chair, but not that early in the match. Plus, you're, you're a big woman. And you you don't need a chair no. to be here. Like, and then and she was gonna. And then she had a pile of chairs on the outside, and was gonna do a. a, a it wasn't a swanton. It was a, a splash. Mm-hmm. For yeah. I could be wrong on uh, Riho. That should have been a just could have been a disqualification. So I, I that when that happened, I, I was given the match a chance. But I was given, I'm giving everybody a chance on that show that I particularly may not know. But that I kind of tune out from that. I was like, eh, and I more paid attention to uh, NXT. But um, a, apparently, a lot of people like that match. Um, all right. Um, yeah. But um, it is what it is. Yeah. Um. So. 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 So like. Um. So like, Riho is your first AEW champion. I mean, um, I, I don't think that Ooh. that that she will be a like long term champion, but um. Yeah, we'll see where that goes. Um, next we had Pac or or, or no, sorry, Pac, um, versus um versus Hangman Page. This was a this was a solid match. Um, nothing special here. Um, a, a like hard hitting match. Um, Pac him, he wins via um via a like low blow when 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 Earl when Earl Hebner was looking um and and Pac him, he hits a victory um. I'm not surprised by this whatsoever, especially if you after he won, he yeah. beat um, Omega. Yeah, and to if you have been paying attention to being the elite with with Hangman and Kenny, they're going on this downward on this downward spiral, um, and I, I, I and you figured that was probably where the the where this was going, and I definitely feel that like adding this. Um, to both Hangman and Kenny, adds adds some depth to their character. Um, and I'm I'm very interested to see where this goes. Um, but but for Pac specifically, I could very well see him being AEW's um first first like mid card champion. Uh, I I would assume that we're probably are going to be getting that hopefully soon. Um, because I uh, because obviously I don't see him going up against. Uh, against Chris Jericho anytime soon heel 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 versus heel so uh so yeah Matt any thoughts on the match here? yeah uh, I, I I'm just gonna agree with what you said it was a solid solid match I mean a good match what more are you gonna expect that it's not gonna be crazy no. good entertaining match I mm-hmm. what else what else do you want mm-hmm. um not to inter- change the subject real quick but I'm uh I'm watching the uh this UCF Cincinnati game right now on my phone because yeah. it's watching. Um, UCF has four t- turnovers. The Cincinnati's won, and Cincinnati is winning 27-16 with 12:50 left to go. They just in a, they just intercepted UCF. Yeah. <laughs> Look what Pitt did. Anywho, <laughs> quick. That was a quick tangent. Yeah. Um, um and moving next, what's what's next on the show? Um, so like um, we'll just roll right into right into the oh, b- before I even get to that, um, the the like interviews and like vignettes um with the show um I really enjoyed the 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 like throwbacks um with Tony Schiavone um to WCW where they used to always do those those in, in, those interviews on top of the of the um, stager I thought that was pretty cool um they were hyping up um SCU and the Lucha Brothers I'm pretty excited um for that match but I, I believe is SCU facing the the Lucha Brothers or are they facing um Luchasaurus and and Jungle Boy. Uh, I don't. I would feel like they'd be facing each other if they're fighting yeah, each other. Yeah, I, I, I want to say That'd that, be but stupid. Uh, yeah. Um. I forget who exactly. I don't know where the, the bracket. Yeah. Um. But but either way, that was that was a pretty pretty fun it, segment. The whole Lucha Brothers c- come off like complete badasses with those with those suits and their 
and the freaking masks there. I really enjoyed that. So, um, and, and, and Matt, what did you think of um of Scorpio Sky's um impersonation of Barack o- o- Obama there? Uh, it was uh pretty good. I was trying to do. I was thinking about trying to do a crappy Obama impersonation. That wasn't going to happen. Nah. So I just stopped. Yeah, uh, that gave me a pretty good laugh there. But um, okay, so um, we'll just roll right into the main event here. Which pinned uh, yes. the e- elite Kenny Omega and the, the Young Bucks versus Chris Jericho and the and the newly signed LAX, um, LAX um, Santana and Ortiz, who were the former Impact Tag Team Champions. Um, this was a good match f- for what for what. It was um basically Kenny w- wasn't even really involved since since like John Moxley came down and and, and those two um and, fought all over and, the and, arena. And this is where people had an issue mm-hmm. because Moxley comes in during the beginning, basically in the first part of the match it seemed, and attacked uh, uh Kenny Omega and they fought and they had that cold uh mm-hmm. table glass table spot yeah where uh. Dean uh, DDT'd uh, Kenny Omega through the table. Yeah. Everybody was thinking, shouldn't it have that been a DQ? And that's where my problem was. Yeah, we were um, texting each other. Yeah, and then and then I found out on Twitter, like, oh, Kenny wasn't actually the 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 legal guy. And I was like, okay, but shouldn't that still be a DQ? Yeah, um, like, so, like, that was, I mean, like, the, the whole DQ, DQ thing in AEW is kind of weird, and they should have been a DQ back in the uh, Cody uh, Sean Spears match yeah, yeah. like twice, but mm-hmm. that we've I've yeah barked up that tree. Yeah, they they really need to do a better job and and and, and explain that a little bit just because because, because nobody said anything. Yeah, so uh, but but that was but that was standing um. Basically, um, this match ends with um with Chris Jericho h- hitting his um hitting Z-, Z Judas um onto I believe it was Matt Jackson um and they hit the one two three. It was it, it seemed like it was a quick match. It, it with was. with again with Ambrose and uh, Omega fighting. Yeah, Moxley. It's, yeah, sorry, Moxley. Excuse me. As I said, yeah. Oh, so um, basically, after the match, we had a full out brawl with, you know, it was with um, with everyone in in the ring, and I believe it was Huston Rhodes, Cody, um, and the um, Sammy Guevara who who hit a like a low blow onto Cody, and the newly debuted. Formerly Jack Swagger in WWE, a little bit of a shock. Is because we Jake heard rum- Hager. We heard rumblings. Yeah, I'm 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 not entirely surprised about this because no. because there was there was definitely some like rumblings that that this had happened and um, according to Tony Khan, he had been signed f- for quite a while actually, and that they were saving him for the debut on. Um, Smart. On, on on TNT, um, I'm not completely against this. You, you know, I, I I really don't get with people who think that that guys who are just cast offs from WWE that they're just immediately or just going to be crap elsewhere. Like, could you imagine if if we had that same thinking with guys like Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Stone Cold Steve Austin, who were all cast offs fr- from WCW when they got into the WWE? WF Triple H. I, I, I mean, like, well, um, what you mean, Chris Jericho? Like, you mean, uh, you mean uh, the other way around? You mean from WWE to WCW with Nash and Hall? Or I'm um, WCW? No, because because in WCW, Nash and and like Hall, all of those guys started out in WCW. Then they went to the WWF, and then they went back to WCW. When oh they yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Contracts. I'm right. I'm stupid. So, so, so basically, you know, why is there this thinking? You know, people, this isn't TNA. You know, they are not, they are not making these guys their world champions. And and people who are, are bringing up well, like well, Chris Jericho is a champion. Excuse me, he's Chris Jericho. <laughs> It's like, I mean, it's it, it just like 
people will just nitpick every little thing when it comes to AEW. And, and, and like, it, it really does irritate me that, that we can't to, to at be, least give this a chance. To you know? be fair, everybody nitpicks WWE. Oh, oh, I, I absolutely does. And like, I'll be the first to admit that. But the, that was standing. I do think, though, that 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 with Jake Hager specifically, I think him being being a bodyguard for um for Chris Jericho is a very good um, role for him. I don't think that he should be a like main event guy or anything, but this role to me I think is a really good one and it seems like t- to me Matt that they um that they formed a a little stable here with um with Chris Jericho, Hager, um LAX and Sammy Guevara here. I mean that that, that has me I- intrigued. Yeah. Um, and I would imagine that we're probably are going to to be getting some sort of, of like of like ten man tag match at some point on the line. Um, at at do a we, future show, you do know. We really want to see a ten man tag. Um, well, I mean, it, it depends. It depends on on like how the story goes. So, and we'll just you know, say, we'll see. Just we'll see. There will be a ten man tag. Everybody's like. Argh! Well, well, because typically they usually do that without any story, and they just and they just do I that. I'm just play, I'm playing just, devil's advocate here, just to unfill time. I'm, I'm playing but devil's advocate. Hey, hey here. I, I will say the exact same thing about AEW. If they just throw these guys in a ten man tag without any story it's fair. or or I'm purpose, just, I, I I just asked. God damn you. Um. So yeah, that was. That was AEW Dying Dynamite. In, in my opinion, a Dynamite. <laughs> Sorry. In my opinion, <laughs> a very fun show, a very exciting show. It was a good start, it, and it, it was a very good start, and it had me excited to see to see next week's episode. So it uh, it was a fun week in wrestling, mm-hmm. and now we're going to talk a little bit about the other show. Um. Like, I, I'll say this about about NXT. It was still a really good show, in my opinion. But some of the same things that that I brought up, like to me, and and this even includes AEW to a certain extent. There is far too much wrestling on both of these shows. Like, in my opinion, I would like to see some more interviews. I would like to see some more segments. You know, build up these guys' characters a little bit. Like, hell, I enjoy a good wrestling match. But to me, like, these shows need to be balanced out a little bit more. Uh, uh, unless there is, like, points to every single one of these matches. Like, for example, with AEW, they have a tag team tournament coming up. That's that's fine. But if we're just doing this just to fill time, I'm not a, a big fan of that. But um, that would stand... Um, we kind of already touched on the um, on on the title match between Adam Cole versus Row. Mm-hmm. I was shocked that they had this leading off the show. I I in a way I'm not because I guess they wanted to grab it, yeah viewers and, because because yeah. it's not a war. Yeah yeah um, yeah clearly. And I was also surprised. I was shocked that that they did not put the title on on Riddle. Um. I really thought that that was the direction that they were going in, but I know um, Adam Cole he, he wins. Um, and then after the match, we can see why now. Finn Balor is now in NXT, but, and he had, and he officially said that he's officially back in for now. NXT he's in for NXT. now, um, which honestly I think is the best place for him. Right now, I think that like he's really never found that same energy and like momentum since he left um, NXT. So I think that this got to bring out the big guns for yeah, the war. Yeah, um, definitely. So, so I'm very interested to see where things go with him. But um, Matt, um, a- 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 anything to add from the from the match for Cole yeah, and Riddle. fantastic matchup, um, good match, hard hitting. Uh, False finishes. Crowd was hot. Yep. It was very entertaining. Glad to see Finn Balor back. Um, we all kind of thought he would come back with the uh, OC, uh, but uh, I guess that's going to wait. There was rumors that that wasn't the plan, and now we see what the plan is yep. to uh, 
challenged Adam Cole to, for the NXT uh, a championship, or at least start a problem with that. But uh, and we'll touch on this later once we get through the card. Uh, somebody else has their eye on the NXT championship. We'll get back. We'll yeah. get to that. Yeah, we'll but, get to, we'll get to that in a little bit here. Um, but um, the the NXT Women's ch- Championship match between Shayna Baszler versus Candice LeRae. Matt, what do you think about this match? Um, like we said before, I, I think it was better than uh, my opinion than the AEW Women's match. Easily. Um, th- I think it was good. Candice put up a good fight. Um. But Shayna is uh, still still your NXT Women's Champion. Um, we're going to see where this goes. Who comes and challenges her? Who else does she have left? Um, I really don't know. Yeah. It was a good uh, match. I, I really don't know where things go from here. Like the only other challenger, maybe they do her versus Io Shirai again. I mean, like, I, I'm really, I mean, I mean, like, other challengers you see, like unless they bring someone down from the main roster, uh, she's beating everybody at this point. I I really don't know where you could go to with them, Shana. Now, unless um, you, unless I don't know, I uh, unless you do like an Oscar that she gets called up to around SmackDown. And she I just would love le- that. Leaves that she leaves NXT. And, without losing. Well, and two, it's not like that. That Oscar is doing anything important right now on the main roster. Who? Yeah, exactly. And her and Kyrie Sane both, I think, would be fine in NXT. And two, you can do that feud with Eel versus Kyrie, which there is so much story behind that. That that's an easy plug-in feud. I don't even mind both. seeing that in Oscar. Exactly. So I would that mind happen. That I think that that should happen. Um. So, yeah. Um. So um. Again, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Next really, week. really good match. And the final, the final chance. Yep. And there was I I couldn't hear because I was watching AEW, but there was a Velveteen Dream promo too. I oh think. yeah. Um. Basically, he will be getting a rematch against. Against Roddy, I'm um, soon. Um, I don't believe that they announced a date or a- 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 anything. I could be wrong. Probably the next takeover. But um, is. yeah. So um, so that should be good. Um, and then the f- the final championship match for the tag team titles, we had uh, the Undisputed Era versus the Street Profits. We got smoke. We oh we got we got the red cups right now because mm. we have our drinks in there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Street Profits, they made me a believer. Over like Rover. Yep, yeah, they are. But I'll 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 be honest, I was not really into this match. Um I was well, I don't know what was it, opposite of it. Yeah. But I wasn't I, I probably would have been more into it if there wasn't AEW, but I don't know what was going yeah. on. That was it was probably going into the main event on AEW. Yes. So I was yeah. wanting to see what would happen. That caught yeah, my eye. Yeah, so, um, I mean, it was still a solid match, but, like, I wasn't really emotionally invested in the match um, compared to their first one, um, but still really good. Um, there was a whole bunch of, of interference here, um, but um, basically um, the Undisputed Era es- escaped with their tag titles, and they and still everyone... In the Undisputed Era, have their titles. And Adam Cole standing on the stage. We're going to go off the air with Cole as champion. But wait. And we have the return of Tommaso Ciampa and him staring at, at his friend Goldie, wanting her back in his life. Um, I'm excited to to see Ciampa back. I'm hoping that he's completely healthy. Um, I know he had that like neck surgery um or, or procedure done i believe that was back in april um and like he 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 looks in phenomenal shape um so yeah the show goes off the air with with Cole and Champa um 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 having a stare down so yeah i'm very interested to see where the world title picture goes because you have Adam Cole involved with both with both on Finn Balor and Champa so Will be interesting to see. So 
now that both shows ended, the following day, the ratings came out. And, and this I'm not shocked with the new kid on no. the block. Everybody wants to see. I was not shocked that AEW beat them. I was shocked about how badly they beat them. Like, look, like, Matt, I'm go go o- o- over o- over these specifics. Before here. the replay, now this isn't. I gotta find it. Just on uh, TNT, the first viewing, 1.4 million viewers compared to NXT's uh, 891,000. Including the replay, because it was NX, uh, Dynamite AEW had a replay right after the show, and that did, I want to say, 400,000. And then they got the TSN2 numbers from Canada. Mm-hmm. So, in total, I don't know if this includes repeat viewers, but just you, just viewers overall, I think it's close to 1.8 in total. Um, now... What we're not going to see is the NXT uh, replay on the network, um, which could, or DVR numbers. I don't know how how this works, because if you uh, watch a DVR show um, after 3 a.m., it doesn't count. It goes to another whatever. Swat Meltzer said. Yeah. um, yeah, Um, So... Maybe uh, NXT could get in total after all said and done can get closer to one million. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe hit it. It wouldn't be a shock, but uh, AEW in total is was pushing two million uh, with the replay and everything. Um, but the big demographic that advertisers and in, uh, Eighteen the, to forty nine. The, the big wigs at companies uh, uh, take note, like John just said, is the eighteen to forty nine demographic, which AEW average point sixty eight, and NXT a point thirty two. So doubled, doubled what? Pretty much doubled. NXT. And TNT is smiling like a butcher's dog. Oh, just yeah. take a take a page out of. JR's playbook. Well, and supposedly sayings. too, according, I think it was, uh, I think it was um, Tony Khan actually said this on Wake Heller's podcast that supposedly TNT's um, expectations were super low. Like supposedly they would have been happy if they would have gotten just five hundred thousand viewers. I which what that makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, like it, it, I was like, wow. I mean, like, I mean, like just based off. Of the of the AEW countdown show that did I believe six hundred and, and thirty one thousand viewers well, for a countdown uh, show and, and and this was the highest rated debut show in TNT in the last five years, which says a lot and I, I think it's going to bode well for the for the relationship with AEW and TNT just because outside of the NBA they are not going to have anything even close to uh, on a weekly basis that's going to be hitting that consistently. So, and to like, they were throwing a lot of really good advertisers at all elite wrestling. I mean, like you never saw this kind of, of a, of a relationship on, on spike with, with them TNA. Um, and that was a, just a weird crap show. It's it just like it. It's just it's just so amazing to me just how vastly different that now where they are. Yeah, they're on Access TV. Yeah, Who knows it, where am I getting that at? It, exactly. So, uh, I, I mean, I, I mean, like if you're an AEW fan, you're um you're very happy. But man, if you are Triple H, you threw the whole kitchen sink on this show. You hyped this up for a, a good two full weeks with with the limited commercials and still you you got your butt kicked pretty badly um so my question is if this if these kind of ratings continue on a weekly basis how long until vince steps in and starts making changes and if that happens that's when i think we're going to really start to see the decline of nxt um in this in these Wednesday night wars because 
I, I mean, like that is something that would really worry me if I were in, if, if you are an NXT fan, like that's, I think something that you should be really concerned about. I I, I think they got to wait again. I keep saying season premiere always gets that season premiere pop in, uh, boost and ratings. Well, so if it continues for the long run near two, two, one and a half million or so, and NXT gets sub to, one million, especially to if AEW's audience continues to to grow too, like say they somehow eventually get to two million viewers and NXT is really staying at the same spot, like that's I think when panic is going to set in, but I. I, I I mean, I'm not sure that AEW's TV will ever get to two million viewers, but I'm saying if they do, I mean, like, I mean, like that's approaching Raw and SmackDown viewership yeah. from, from like, from like USA now, now, now for SmackDown with with the viewership could be completely different since now they are are on Uh-oh. now that they are on Fox now, so. So yeah, um, it was a very fun night of 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 wrestling, um. We fun just, week, yeah, a very fun week in in, the in most wrestling. Excited week that I can remember. Yeah. That I was, I couldn't wait, yeah. couldn't see what Raw was like, yep. couldn't see what AEW, couldn't see what NXT. Mm. I was really excited for uh, the move to Fox from mm-hmm. SmackDown, see mm-hmm. how that was going to come off. Yeah, and it was, and we got Hell in the Cell this Sunday. Uh, probably going to listen to this tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of Raw, um, we haven't really touched on that, but um, really. Raw's um, stage thoughts. Uh, <laughs> first thing I thought of when I saw that stage Tony, was... Tony, Tony, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2? No, Rocket Power. Rocket Power. Rocket Power was, thought, was the first thing Rocket I thought Power's of. good. Same um, difference. Yeah, but um, it just... It was a very, it's a very weird, very weird stage. It, it just, I'm not exactly sure, like... How that fits I, the show in? Channel. I didn't mind it, but looking at it's SmackDown weird. show now, like, stage it's uh, just like uh, SmackDown just like it, it kicked its ass. But basically, the one thing that I took away from this show was Pirate. Brock Lesnar beating beating up toddlers, aka <laughs> Rey Dominic, Mis- Nick. Um, beating up Dominic and Rey Mysterio to a pulp. Um, it was a good segment. It was a good segment, and it perfectly led into. Eventually, when Kane de- debuted on SmackDown tonight, um, so it, it did its job there. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, there wasn't really too much that happened um, outside of Seth still being a complete pitch. Um, I would too if, if you have the Fiend. It, 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 it's it just, I mean, and, and and like I get what they're trying to do with the Fiend and Seth, but my God, can you make him look like even more of a bigger coward every single week? Like I mean, that has I been. Girls, I gotta, do I have to bleep? I'm not gonna bleep that out. Yeah, I, 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 I would. I would. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's just, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm just very disappointed at just the complete downfall of this of the Seth Rollins um character from the last six months here. Just it hasn't gotten any better, and like to me, there's no other thing that 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 they could possibly do. You have to go all the way with. With with um the with the fiend have to have to at, at this point there is no turning back with the he's Seth Rollins he's Ex- just destroy everybody exactly has yeah. to yeah so so yeah that was essentially that was uh, uh essentially raw um I am a big fan of of like Vic Joseph I'm not exactly sure how I feel um who's his um Don Madden no no um, uh, no, no sorry Dio Madden Dio Madden I um. I'm not sure, so sure how I feel about him, just because I don't feel he feel like he was really given a chance, just because a lot of the times, um, Lawler was like kind of budding I, I, a I, lot. I I think maybe they're just easing him in. Yeah, but you can tell yeah. he's trying to get his feel for it. But it was nice, different. Like Vic Joseph was. He good. brings a lot of a lot of e- energy, definitely, which is really refreshing. So um, yeah, um, we'll see how that goes, but uh. Yeah, um, yeah. So not nothing really on Raw. We just have some other current e- events here. Um, now it's being reported by by like Fight Oracle, who is a Twitter account who has broken um who has broken MMA MMA 
MMA stories and um and professional wrestling stories um in the past um he's reporting that the that the deal with CM Punk and FS1 for WWE backstage is currently a done deal. Um, I'm not really surprised by this. Uh, just because everything had been swirling for for a while now, and to be perfectly honest, I think I think at some point Punk is going to indeed wrestle in the WWE again. Um, I definitely feel that with the with his like lawsuits that he had both against WWE and and he recently and he recently settled with with his with his um, former friend Colt Cabana. That I wonder if he's a little bit broke right now to be perfectly honest i wonder if his like money is is a is a little bit low and he has to see how much money that the wwe ha- has made with both with both um mbc universal um fox and obviously with the saudi deal so i think he probably sees like hey i can get one less big big payday so um i think that's definitely possible i'm very interested to see how this is going to come off as um, and he'll obviously be he will obviously be working with with Booker T and and Renee Young. Matt, do you have any any thoughts with this here? If this is official, it's being kept a secret that they actually yeah. interviewed, even though it's not a yeah. best kept secret. But it's no. it's there, but it's not like going nuts. If that makes sense. It's no. gonna be interesting if he actually does it. Mm-hmm. If he does the show, um, I would be shocked if he doesn't come back on the WWE TV. He will. Um, it's only, I would be shocked. Yeah, it, it's only a, a matter and of he, time. And he said that he's uh, he's he's okay to put things behind him. Yeah. And uh, he said he's grown up a bit since 2014 and the whole the I, issues. I, I, I also think, too, he can And he, WWE he, and Triple H said that. Again, never say never. Never say never. When usually when Triple H says that, like if they were talking about Kane, there was an interview with Vel- about Velasquez and yeah. Triple H. Uh, I feel like something's there again, like with the again, like the Velasquez thing. Like everybody was poop, not poo pooing it, but like saying, "Yeah, it'd be nice to see him." And blah, blah 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 blah. I think there's something there, and I don't think it'd be this much news if there wasn't fire where there's smoke. I know I switched that saying up, but I think something has to be there. And if it's if he gets it backstage and it's just a one time match or a somewhat part time schedule, I would imagine he'll probably have a like Brock schedule um, because obviously he's not going to be or or even a a like race schedule where he works where he he, he works mainly TV. That's um, all you need. Um, mainly TV and, and pay per views. Um, but uh, and and like no house shows or anything. And and, and like nor should he at like forty one now. But uh, yeah. So um, we'll see where that goes. I would imagine that we'll probably find something within the next with in the next month because I believe that there's a preview show on the fifteenth. Yeah, on October fifteenth, and they debut. Um, on November fifth, and um, the preview shows after Game Three of the ALCS. Yep. So uh, smart. Yes, smart. Very smart. Um, and also another um thing that had like fight or co um broke. It was around five, uh, around five o'clock Eastern time tonight. Was that Edge has supposedly has been cleared by doctors to get back into the ring. However. Edge did tweet out like right as SmackDown was ending that base basically shooting down. He and, said, "No, I'm not," and "No, I'm not." Yeah. Um, Which we assume is that he's cleared and he's going to wrestle again. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. So um, we'll see where that goes. Um. I, I'm I'm not exactly sure how I feel about Edge com- coming back. I mean, I I, I, I would, would be like, okay with a one off. Like if it's just a a like retirement um style where essentially what they did for what well, essentially what they did for Dave Batista one final match at, at WrestleMania 
Be- and that's it. Because that, technically, he didn't get out, go out on his own terms. Yeah, yeah. Which, which I, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly fine with. But I do not want him wrestling multiple times. I mean, I just, I, I, what, I, 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 I yeah, nice story to build up for a one and done match. I, don't, I if whatever, fine. That is perfectly fine. Let him. If if I was in his shoes and I was cleared, I would want some closure on my career. Not going out because I was injured. I would too. Um, I just wonder, who do you put him up uh, against? Like, I mean, like, I mean, I really like. There's really no one out there on the roster right now. I mean, like, I mean, I, I'd be fine with a like rematch with him versus versus seeing him. That I mean, like, that would be be fun. But like, I just I, I really don't have any desire to see Edge back in the ring again. Um, but but for a a like one off, I'm perfectly fine with it. But. I'm, I'm I mean I mean it'd, it'd be nice to see him. I'm not mm-hmm. one off. Tell a good story. He can go off in the sunset on his terms now. Mm-hmm. It's fine. He gets a payday. We all win. Yeah, yeah but um, well, Matt, I think that should pretty much um, yeah. end things here. We pretty much covered everything that we wanted to cover. Um, so any final thoughts be be before we send it home here? It's fun to be a wrestling fan again. Indeed it is. And indeed it is. And it's going to be fun for our, our channel if you give a like and you comment and you subscribe. It helps that, us out. Hit that bell. Ring a ding ding. Ring a ding ding. Every Saturday at 3, hopefully, unless that changes. That's the goal. Saturday at 3, new episodes. I'm going to have to get this edited. Oh, oh. Real soon, if the reason why I sighed is um, Johnny um, let go of some some gas, and uh, I hope I hope it doesn't come over here. Anywho, that's what she said. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, Matt. <laughs> I I think it's time to go at this. Time. It's getting late. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one.